Hey, Pastor Mike here. You asked for it, you got it, and a salute to Singers Gap United Methodist Church in Mountain Union, Pennsylvania, and to Tina Ronk, who requested I do put this on the, on the webpage or on the Facebook page here. This is a great illustration. It could be a children's sermon. It could be uh, a lesson prior to a youth meeting or in the middle of a youth meeting, however you want to do it. I have a jar, I have a golf ball, and I have rice. Now you pre-measure the rice to fit right in the jar, but I'm going to show you that anyway. I, I just have two containers because it's the my jar is too big. So you, the jar represents your life. And you fill up the jar with friends and with activities and with school and eventually with work and the house payment, all that stuff. So you pour all of your life into that thing. The, the rice represents your life. And as you see, I can fill it right up to the, near the top. And you have a complete life, full life, lots of stuff, lots of friends, all that good stuff. But this represents God. And too often, here's our approach. We do this, we work on this first and think, oh, wait, i got to include God. I want to include God in this. And no matter how I try to push that down there, there's no way I'm getting that lid on the jar. Now let me show you something amazing. And here's the illustration. This is a wonderful thing. If we put God first, if we put God into our life first, that's a real golf ball, by the way. It's a top flight three. Okay, so there's no tricks going on here. Nothing up my sleeve. Nothing up the sleeve on my Bloomsburg University shirt. Not that I'm plugging my alma mater or anything, also in Pennsylvania. Anyway, so if we put God first, then we start adding our friends, our activities, all that good stuff that, that compromised, compromised our life before. And we put that in the jar, we fill up all the stuff we had before, give it a shake, shake it down a little bit. It's tight, but look at this. There's just a few things left in there, but boy, I'll tell you what. I can, if I redo this, it's only because of static electricity they're sticking into the, in the styrofoam. If you have a Cool Whip container, not that I'm plugging Cool Whip either, but if you have a Cool Whip container that holds all the rice, it's a lot easier than using the styrofoam. Now, once again, I put the lid back on. You have a full and complete life because you put God first. I'm going to come right at you here. Look at that. There's a golf ball right in the bottom of that. I didn't do any tricks. No trick photography here. This is all in one take or sometimes more than one depending on how it goes. But that's an awesome lesson. And if we would only put God first, God wants us to have life and life abundant. So thank you, uh, Singers Gap United Methodist Church in Mount Union, Pennsylvania, for wanting to see that again. Uh, I hope you can use that in your in your either your children's sermon or in your youth program. Please submit uh, stuff to this site. Uh, my new goal is to connect with at least one youth program in all 50 states. And we've already talked about Oregon City, Oregon. We've now added Mountain Union, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. You're next. I got Michigan in my sights next. So uh, uh, God bless you. Thank you for having a heart for ministry and working with youth. And I uh, hope you can use this. And please post your ideas on this page. God bless you.